newer implant useful or market driven it will be a ego satisfying statement if i say all newer implants are market driven it will be a bravado probably market driven clavicle plate hook plate for a acromioclavicular joint proximal femur locking plate distal fibula plate and a rib plate probably philos and the distal femur because they have also increased the complications rate quite a lot the new implant which is having a constant new model which is a pfn pedicular screws and a proximal femur plate the good implants to me today are revision hip and knee implants trabecular metal and a pelvic fixation plates but this moa program designer has probably in his mind that they are all market driven so i will speak only those which to me are market driven and i won't talk about the good ones these new implants are all market driven they do not improve the result clavicle plate was designed and few articles were published probably inspired by the company we surgeons were sold out this was the from the original article healed clavicle fracture treated non surgically note the bump and the shortened shoulder width and a subtle drop function affected even though the fracture united probably in a day to day things we have never seen we have treated all these clavicles all the time this has not happened and me too got involved so i did primary plating 30 year old quite a few of them these pre contoured plates do not fit always on our bones and they are difficult to bend we also earned a lot of money and now i have stopped operating on most fresh fractures i had my share of problems and i learned my lessons now i only operate on a non union which is very very infrequent if conserved these were my problems you can see the scars scars you can see all the each and every hole of the plate here and all these things which has happened and this was the fracture which had again not this is the one which didn't unite lots of uh, problem there and ultimately i went back to this conservative treatment and out of the six nerves which are supposed to be there i preserved four of them pre plating post plating only two remain four other two where they went i didn't realize hook plate for acromioclavicular joint dislocation all needed removal and most acromioclavicular dislocations do not need surgery i think we are doing a cosmetic surgery but they do not need except grade 4 and 5 which is hardly ever you see this were the hook plate i did it i also did it for this fracture of the medial side which is recommended and it is such a plate which was bulky patient was too uncom too uncomfortable ultimately the patient were happy only when i removed this plate so i feel this plate is also market driven probably if at all you need to do for this fracture this is the plate which is more useful now i have given up this plate proximal femur plate all of us used it first generation and all regretted fracture didn't heal due to the lack of stability this was the fracture done nicely we felt it was very easy we didn't have to go and do the uh, really all the all the guide wire and the reaming and everything and this just broke down this is not one all of them broke down and ultimately we had to go back to the cephalocondylar nail this which held up this design changed few times some are okay with this new paper and new plates but i am not still satisfied whether that is a good implant or no then now it has come an olecron on hook plate i'm sure many of you don't even know about it this is an olecron on hook plate which you can see this was the fracture this is the olecron on hook plate on day 1 which was done and again it is it is developed this myosarcoma ossificans with the marked stiffness of the elbow fixation with the leg screw and a tension band wire it's a good treatment it hardly ever gave a problem to us so i don't know what was the necessity of 
this hook plate, proximal humerus locking plate, philostyle. We all are using it, and none of us have got a good range of movement at the end of the surgery. This is the one, osteosynthesis versus conservative care, first and foremost. And the conclusions were, not any significant difference in pain at the follow-up between those treated with osteosynthesis versus conservative care. So people have started doubting whether you need the operation for these older people or what. One of these did find that three-part fractures, the conservative treatment seemed to be better than osteosynthesis. All reports of lock plate for four-part fractures are not excellent. Screw penetration on day one is a major inadequate surgery. Final range of movements takes about one year to come and none are as good as normal. This is what is the report. While these K wires, we all did K wires before this philos plate came in. And these K wires did give us a result. Probably couldn't we couldn't mobilize it early enough. This were the small cannulated screws which I did it many, many years back. Here is Dr. Chandok has done this flower valley here. And these are all have given a good result. And this is reported range of movement is better with the K wire than with the plate. All the reports suggest that the plate doesn't give as good a movement as these K wires which are given. Fixation with the percutaneous K wire presented an efficient treatment option with the advantage of minimally invasiveness and a soft tissue dissection. And the higher percentage of good to excellent results with relatively few complications in our study suggests that this method is a very effective one and has the potential to become a procedure of choice in a properly selected fractures. And now we come to this. We have started a non-union situations after this plate has arrived. We didn't get as many non-unions before. And then we started talking about it that probably the people do not know how to do it. They are not doing it in a micro motion mode. They are doing too rigid a fracture. But still, this is the result that this fracture, which we have, each one of us are doing it day in and day out, but hasn't given any better results. These are the results, 21% non-union, 22% required a second surgery, 15 full-length publications, and three abstracts were included. The rate of complication related to healing ranged from 0 to 32%. Implant failure in late with 75% of the failures occurring in three months and 50 occurring in six months. Here in an ample evidence that some series healing failures or delays have been relatively frequent. Conclusions, do this plate have a use, rip plate? I have not even seen a rip plate. I don't think it is available in India, but it's being marketed. So this is the rip plate which came into existence. And then I don't know whatever is the use of that. And this is a hook plate for a distal fibula. Probably it is useful, but most of the fibulas we treat it from posteriorly. When we treat from posteriorly, this hook plate is not valid. It can only be on the lateral side. If you put it, then it is valid. So most of the things which have been with the posterior malleolus, they are treated posteriorly. So this hook plate, this is a distal tibia hook plate for the medial malleolus. I don't think many people have seen this. This is also there in the market, probably purely market driven. I don't think it has much thing to do. Thank you very much.